All right, this aisleway is jam-packed. Let me set up this shot here. Nice pieces of furniture. Right here, solid wood. We're gonna go with books on top. Vintage looking. Sorry for the window. Up top there, looking really good. Foldable top. I didn't see anything else and there was a garage door with somebody right inside, right behind me. So I thought, let's just go ahead and just roll on up, grab the shot out the window. Don't worry folks, we will be getting out whenever possible. Yes, 100%, sometimes I am lazy. <laughs> and sometimes I'd rather sit in a nice car. Yeah, it's 68 degrees right now. It's feeling real frisky, so uh, that's not an excuse. And it's not Las Vegas either. Let's continue to hunt. Hey, would you look at that? They used my trick of uh, that's bungee cording a memory foam mattress together with a car seat. Did you guys ever see that video? That was uh, done about a year ago or so. I had my, I uh, borrowed my mom's uh, SUV. I was able to fold a memory foam mattress in half. I used Husky ratchet straps that are really inexpensive at Home Depot. They're a lot more on Amazon, but they're a lot cheaper at Home Depot. So I ratchet strap the memory foam mattress in half like a burrito or a taco you know we don't have to get crazy we don't have to you know we don't have to get uh, thorough like an enchilada Ooh, talking about mm, talking about a nice burrito that sounds actually pretty good right now anyway threw that sucker in the back of the suv and guess what it was like beautiful evening and you're like hey chris what do you got in the back of that suv Hey, I got a queen size mattress. Alrighty, well, thank you Lord, number one, uh, for finding two kennels already, a very small one, I'll probably have to curb alert. A medium sized one we found on a curb in my neighborhood. Now, right next to us right here is a pretty large one. So I'm gonna see if this might be a better option than a crate. If this is a similar size, I kinda like the fact that this is a portable one with a handle as well. Let's go in, not to mention there's a really nice painting and a coffee maker. Let's go see what's up. That's hilarious. So I grabbed the crate and that is an awesome crate. And so a guy actually whipped in there with a truck and he was, I, th I think they're moving. I'm not exactly sure, but he wasn't near the dumpster though. And man, I might have to go back to storage as this thing is a huge crate. It's taking up all my room. So I think what I'm gonna do, I think he actually saw me going in there and taking it. He whipped up there because he probably thought I was gonna take uh, some, I think cushions for uh, a couch or something like that is I think what he took. Anyway, super funny, right? I have it in my hand. The guy rolls like quick into the, uh, the aisleway and he's like, hey man, you gonna take that crate? And I was like, yeah. And uh, he was like, oh man, people throw away some great stuff, you know? And I, I, I didn't think he was a resident. I thought I just thought he was a diver that, you know, was trying to get in on the action too. And I was like, yeah, man. I was like, I'm just out here doing the same thing you are, you know, grabbing some goodies. And uh, he got a little chuckle out of it. I got a little chuckle out of it. But uh, anyway, I don't think it was a diver. I think he was a, <laughs> just a guy maybe helping somebody move solid bed or some couch cushions or something like that. Anyway, funny nonetheless when you do have interaction with other uh, pickers. Even if they are residents, they're still picking, just like you. But anyway, got the uh, Kong. It's a beautiful Kong crate. Massive. Like I said, I'm not too far away from my storage unit. I think I'm gonna have to go back. The other option is I'll go drop it off. Okay, we got a tower fan here. I just wanna go in for a closer look real quick here. All right, nice Ikea. I'm pretty sure that was an Ikea. Just kind of a uh, cheaper, small, itty bitty coffee table or maybe like a patio little table or something like that. Nice nonetheless. Tower fan, we're gonna go ahead and skip and let's go ahead and proceed forward. We got a lot of diving to do today. All right. 
right, that's uh, two for two Ikeas. If I was in the business of Ikea, I'd be, I'd be called Mr. Ikea man myself, I'll tell you what. I could see it now. It'd be like an infomercial. Ikea welcomes you to its newest. 7,000th location. Picture me, pearly whites, a little, you know, little ting. You know, little, little, little Photoshop, little, uh, little visual effects, you know, a little, a little thing dancing on my teeth. You know how the cartoons do it? I think I probably need to, uh, whiten my teeth first, though. Too much coffee. I love my coffee, and I don't feel like drinking my coffee out of a straw. But, Ikea, shop now, pay later. No, no, actually, no, you shouldn't shop now, pay later. Skip that. Shop now, and if you don't have cash, don't buy it. Coming up to the graveyard here, Jenny Nothing. Looks to be some nice furniture and some uh, portraits. Let's go take a closer look. Sorry if I didn't get the best shot there. I kind of did the uh, by the leg dangle the phone. What's that? Okay, it looks like we have a small TV um, or a computer monitor, but there's also something down that way as well behind the shoe rack, but there's also a bag. Might be some cables in there. Let's go take a closer look. There's a lot of parking spots, nobody around. Might as well. Well, I grabbed the Samsung Sync Master, and I think I made a mistake. I think I was right in my assessment of a television, and uh, then I looked at it again, and I thought it was a all-in-one computer, but that doesn't really make sense because Samsungs don't make computers, so. Plus, I heard a guy's voice up there, and a dog was kind of barking at me, so I kind of got thrown off my, my antennas. My antennas were a little off. With that set, I'm still gonna look it up. I'm gonna still see if Mr. Sleep Slot can sell it. If not, it's gonna go on my curb this evening at my house, and someone will definitely take that, probably my guess, in a few hours' time. It would actually be a great television for the kitchen, because it's small and doesn't take up too much room or for hooking up security system. All right, this aisleway is jam-packed. Let's go in and see what's up. There's definitely some couches. There's some stuff laying on the ground. Let's see what we got. Looking good, folks. Looking good. Just loaded up. We got the action in the books. Okay, the <laughs> dog crate, I think, definitely needs to be dropped off. And there's another Keurig right there. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, that looks like kind of a nice Keurig, too. Let's go in for a closer look and uh, see what's up with this Keurig. Great pickup on the Keurig as well. Coming around to a baby car seat right there. Nothing behind it. All right, it's some good picks today, folks. It's some good picks. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings. All right, folks, we have the Dyson right here. That is a DC-41. That is a new Dyson ball on the end of it. It's looking absolutely stunning. That's pretty much the same one I have in storage right now. We got the Keurig right next to it. We got that big white marble tile, uh, porcelain tile. I don't know what I'm gonna do with one tile. Uh, I mean, you could have it kind of like, maybe put it on some wood, kind of like a cutting board maybe. I'm not really exactly sure, to be honest with you. It just looked nice, so I took it. I was like, hey, it looks kind of like a nice tile.
Kyle, let's take it. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then what else do we get? Uh, and then we got the Dyson. Oh, and then we got that uh, small thermos thing. I know the large ones, the Stanley, the large ones, I know they sell. I just grabbed that small one just for kicks and giggles. I think that one might still sell. Don't quote me on that one. Again, these are things that I'm just grabbing, research them all later on, and then just curb alert them. In the neighborhood I'm at right now, the curb alerts, they go super, super fast. And there is a bunch of people who are walking around right now who are watching me drive around the complex. <laughs> But I just look like I'm lost, not to mention I look like I'm on the phone when I'm talking like this or on a conference call talking over the speakers. Anyway, let's continue to dive. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.